The White House is warning that a Russian attack on Ukraine could begin any day after a huge buildup of Russian troops near the Ukrainian border. American officials say Moscow now has the capability to conduct a major military operation possibly beginning with an air assault. Moscow has practically encircled its smaller neighbor with close to 130,000 troops, but maintains no invasion is being planned. Meanwhile, diplomatic efforts intensify today to avoid war, with President Biden hosting a call of world leaders, including Boris Johnson, who said he feared for the security of Europe if there's a conflict. All British nationals are now being advised to leave Ukraine. Our North America editor Sarah Smith has the very latest. The Russians are not trying to camouflage these military exercises their troops are conducting in Belarus, near the Ukrainian border. These pictures were provided by the Russian Defense Ministry. Has Vladimir Putin decided to order these troops into Ukraine? The US say they simply don't know, but they believe he is in a position to do so. So they are escalating warnings military action could be imminent, possibly within days. We encourage all American citizens who remain in Ukraine to depart immediately. We want to be crystal clear on this point. Any American in Ukraine should leave as soon as possible and in any event in the next 24 to 48 hours. We obviously cannot predict the future. We don't know exactly what is going to happen. But the risk is now high enough and the threat is now immediate enough that this is what prudence demands. If you stay, you are assuming risk with no guarantee that there will be any other opportunity to leave and there no prospect of a U.S. military evacuation in the event of a Russian invasion. If a Russian attack on Ukraine proceeds, it is likely to begin with aerial bombing and missile attacks that could obviously kill civilians without regard to their nationality. A subsequent ground invasion would involve the onslaught of a massive force. With virtually no notice, communications to arrange a departure could be severed and commercial transit halted. No one would be able to count on air or rail or road departures once military action got underway. Now again, I'm not standing here and saying what is going to happen or not happen. I'm only standing here to say that the risk is now high enough and the threat is immediate enough that prudence demands that it is the time to leave now. Uh, I'm not going to get into intelligence information, but if you look at the disposition of forces in both Belarus and in Russia on the other side of the Ukrainian border, from the north, from the east, the Russians are in a position to be able to mount a major military action in Ukraine any day now. And for that reason, we believe uh, that it is uh, important for us to communicate to our allies and partners, to the Ukrainians, and to the American citizens who are still there. Here's that aerial bombing and missile attacks against Kiev could precede any ground invasion. Brits in Ukraine are being urged to leave. leave now. America's warning its citizens U.S. forces will not go into Ukraine to rescue them. That's a world war when Americans and Russians start shooting at one another. We're in a very different world than we've ever been in. Not even on behalf of simply evacuating Americans. No. How, how, how do you do that? How do you even find them? The defense secretary in Moscow heard again Russian assurances that are no plans to invade, but left less optimistic about the chances of a diplomatic solution. Uh, it's all about actions. Currently, there's over 100,000, 100,000, 130,000 troops uh, stationed at readiness or exercising, plus warplanes, plus ships into the Black Sea uh, on the borders of Ukraine, and, and that is a, an action that is not normal. U.S. forces are already being deployed to Poland and Romania to bolster those NATO allies on Ukraine's border, with an additional 3,000 troops being announced tonight. As the White House warns, a conflict they think could begin any day now would bring enormous human cost. <laughs>